I'd like to find the road we roam together, swinging along, finding the long way home. We didn't mind the time or place for weather, singing a song, finding the long way home. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day, dear. What's going on, house lovers and explorers? Another roadside find, guys. Check this place out. Kind of resembles an old bungalow. Now I can see there's a side door open, so we are going to check it out. Yeah, way out in the countryside again, the rain's held off, which is good. Nice little return veranda here. Definitely reminds me of the bungalows. I love it. See, there's the side doors open. Oh, there's a couple of uh, either wasps or bees buzzing up around the door there. We should be right. There is a bit of a bee's nest up in that wall somewhere, guys. There's a, that tapping noise is, I think, is a dripping, rain dripping down somewhere. The old door. I can smell like a dead animal smell. And it's obvious that um, the sheep have been allowed to roam through here. So hopefully we don't find a, a dead one in here somewhere. This place has literally been left for dead though. Cobwebs. What a beautiful old place from the front though. Yeah, that, it kind of just looks like dirt, guys, but it's mixed with, like, sheep's droppings. And it's not the ceiling that's, um, collapsed. I don't know what that is. It's really weird. Heaps and heaps of spiderwebs, though. Wardrobe. Now I don't know what this room is, maybe a laundry. No, we were just in the laundry, I think. Let's 
got a wooden floor. No possums, that's good. <laughs> they probably are, but uh, just not waiting for me this time. That's the other side of a maybe the kitchen stove cove. Again, I don't know what that is, guys, but it's some sort of dirt. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's heaps and heaps of... I need a cobweb stick, guys. Hang on. That thing will do. Oh, it's, probably, it's probably got spiders in it. At... Oh, man. I think this is where the smell's coming from. Oh, guys. There's a couple of dead sheep. One there. And one there. And one over there. That's where the smell's coming from. Look, they've been dead for a long time, but it's still, it's still that uh, dead smell. Not staying in there. It's, it's sad knowing that they uh, get stuck and die, guys. I hope, there's none. I hope there's none in this room. Oh, there's a cool breeze. No, there's no smell in this room, guys. Oh. A little bit jumpy. All right, no dead sheep. That's an old vanity there. Oh yeah, the window's busted. That's where the breeze was coming from. So quiet out here. So quiet. It's classic old carpet. Exactly the same doors as my mum's place. Door handles as well. Another nice old wardrobe. Little baby's doll down there. A oh, little dog. A baby doll, I should say. You can still hear that dripping. Tick, 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 tick. That is the other side of that um, stove cove. 
Huge kitchen. Huge kitchen. Another little doll there. And the walk-in pantry, oh, which has had the ceiling collapse. And that's where that water is dripping. It stopped. Oh, it stopped for a second. I was going to say that's weird. Ooh, the wallpaper. Not too much left in here, guys, regarding um, kitchen stuff, other than the two dolls. Not really kitchen stuff, though. Let's keep going. Whoa. Is the side entrance door. Alright, we'll have a look in here. This looks like the front living room. Wow. Might have to just push that out of the way. Heaps of uh, toys in here. This is definitely a 30s home. Late 30s to early 40s, I would say. Try and get a date somewhere. There's plenty of paperwork. toys obviously people have been in here over the years and ratted through things along with the rats ratting through things cool old curtains Well, there's a Homer, Homer Simpson there. There's a magazine of some sort. No date though. Get 
bounce around here. Another chair. Get a look at this light. Vintage. And there's Little Art Deco pattern there guys, I'm just trying to, uh, oh yeah, you can see this was two rooms at one point guys. Um, they've knocked this wall out. That's why there's a Little Art Deco ceiling medallion there. So they would have knocked this wall out, put the light which was on there, on that medallion, in the middle. You can see the seam up there as well. And that door there would have led into this room, probably as a front bedroom. Let me know if you agree in the comments, guys. Come on, where is the date? Two thousand and ten. All right, so it's a little bit later than I expected. I was thinking maybe early 2000s, even late 90s, but the place has been turned upside down, hasn't it? Look at that huge mantel piece, big old piece of wood. Oh, Anthony Kalea. Now that goes back to um, What's it called? Uh, Australian Idol. Now I think that was around the early 2000s. Let me know, guys. Anthony Kalea, I think he's still getting around singing. Oh, look at that old bathroom. Oh. Another closed door as well. Lots and lots of wallpaper missing. tiles steak and titties <laughs> yep see even this little uh, bathroom cabinet, those tapered woodwork, very, very bungalow style. So I would even, yeah, I'd definitely put this home in the 30s. Okay. Even more toys, guys. This probably was a kid's bedroom. Definitely. Stuffed toys everywhere. Some mold there too. Not surprising. Yeah, it's just shoes and toys and 
anything associated with children and well haven't really seen anything blokey 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 yet maybe there's some blokey things out in the shed I think that was the last room last room guys oh shit linen cupboard yeah Yep, uh, that was the sheep room. There's just a carport there, I think. Hmm. Maybe it was only a couple of bees going in there. It's not bee season anyway. Yeah, look, that's just an empty carport, guys. But there is some sort of shit over here. There's a loft up there, guys. Unfortunately, there's no stairs and no ladder. Not sure I'd trust the ceiling anyway. Now, what's in here? Old pump or old gas gas generator? Looks like it. Another old stove. A very, very dusty one. Can't see the make of it. Alright, I'll see if any possums jump out here. Oh, it's just an empty shed. see straight over there it's where the crops get sown so a lot of people ask you know why are these homes just sitting here abandoned originally would have these homes are the original farm the homestead of the land and um, as a generation move they build new ones and these ones just sit derelict and even the farm, the farmland changes hands and ownership and gets absorbed into different farms as well and they just sit rotting guys. So quiet out here. Definitely um, bungalow influenced putting it in the 30s this home guys i'll just quickly walk up and wrap it up because we've seen everything real shame about those sheep that's what happens the door blows shut and they can't get out All right, guys, well, this was actually a random find. I thought I'll take this road, moving on to a different spot, and lucky find. So I'm going to move on to the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. 
and I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys, cheers, bye. Remember, I used to sigh at the end of each day.